Imagine we find a worm inside one of these fruits. Oh, what is this? Is this a worm? Hello guys, welcome to Small Turns Big. When we look at this fruit under the microscope at 100 magnification, we can expect a lot of interesting things. We got a strawberry, a pomegranate, a passion fruit, blackberry, raspberry, and some cherries. Let's chop them up. First, the raspberry, cut it in half. First, we're gonna look at it from the outside. Wow, cool, this looks so amazing up close. So you can see here, all these little whiskers standing out. You can see them by eye also. Ooh, okay now. So this spot over here, there we got a raspberry seed, fresh and ready to plant. Ooh, what is this? Whiskers inside the raspberry. I didn't know that, that there can be whiskers inside. Okay, enough for this raspberry. Mm. That's the easiest way to clean it up. It's gonna grow in my stomach now. <laughs> so moving on to the next berry. So let's take the blackberry here and cut it in half. This one's juicy. You can see also some whiskers here. They're a bit different. Because here you can see the whiskers on this blackberry, they come from the center of the berry itself. A lot of small berries. This is connected to the seed inside. Okay, so let's try something here. Maybe I can remove one berry part here. Oops, I guess I broke it open. There we go. Detached now. All the liquid is gone. You cannot see much under the microscope here. I would have to use some other external light. Whoop. The liquid here is much more see-through than on the raspberry. Yeah, so here you can see how this berry here, the blackberry, is attached to the stem here inside, pulling all the nutrients out. It's maybe not actually black. You can see there, it's purplish. This berry that I broke, it's kind of red, purplish. It's so dark and so dense that it seems to be black. But actually, it's probably purple color. It's probably a purple berry. We discovered something new. We'll rewrite history books. Mm -hmm. This one's more sour. It's not as sweet as the raspberry, but that's uh, what you get when you discover new species. First taste the sourness before you taste the sweetness of victory. <laughs> <laughs> On to my favorite passion, passion fruit. Ooh, this one has a hard, tough skin. I love the smell, it's super tropical. What we got here is skin layer outside that protects the whole fruit. Then we got the white layer, it has speckles in it, some red speckles, I don't know what this is. So we eat this uh, yellow stuff here and the dark spots in here are the seeds. So if you move in here in the middle, it looks like a huge bee nest. How many of you guys knew that passion fruit looks like this? I guess in commercials you just see the, the image but you don't see how it really looks like. That's cool, let's zoom in here, see the connection also here. So this part, is attached to the yellow part that we eat. So delicious. It's one of my favorites. Is that nail polish? Yeah, it looks like nail polish up close here. We made a video about nail polish. Go check it out. We'll link it up here. You can see here on one of the inner skin layers, on the white layer, you can see here a lot of texture and bubbles and, and structures connecting to each other to protect the fruit, also to keep it damp. So if you squeeze around here a little bit, you can see how it's damping and protecting the fruit inside a little bit, like a sponge. Okay, this one, I cannot gobble up so fast, so we'll save it and keep it later uh, so next we're going for my darling the cherry darling imagine we find a worm inside one of these fruits oh what is this speaking about the devil is this a worm section here i thought that's a worm there in the flesh of the, the cherry here you can also see quite nicely how the cherry is set up green part here is the stem delivering all the nutritional benefits and uh, juices so the cherry can grow there's not much to see here let's eat this one it's a bit rotten, uh, not so much, but a little bit. So I'm not sure if you want to eat it afterwards, but I'll cut it in half anyways. And we found something already. There's a slug, I think, not a snail. I think what it is, should I scare you guys? I'm just going to eat it and we will never find out. Mm. Yeah, it's passion fruit. It's not a slug. Lucky me. So we're on the outer skin now and you can see strawberry hasn't been washed at all. So it's quite dirty. Here you can see the skin has been damaged a bit because it's a bit aged. Not quite rotten yet, but just a bit aged. So these are the seeds here in the back and also some whiskers standing out here. Similar uh, like the raspberry and the blackberry. Enough from the outside, let's turn it around. Ooh, okay, so now we're right in the center and you can see here it's a bit more open, light-hearted, not very strong and textured. So you can see here up close when I zoom in a bit more, there's a lot of Ooh, it looks like a lot of small pebbles. Wow, I thought it was li like strings t attached to each other, but small pebbles just sticking next to each other. It's cool how these simple small 
microscopic things make us so happy when we can eat them and enjoy it in an afternoon snack. So last but not least, the pomegranate. Let's enjoy this one. So yeah, here you can see quite easily the protection, the outer layer, the fruit protection, and then all the seeds inside. Of course, we only eat the seeds at 20 times magnification. The outer layer, very, very small layer. And then we got here the white part, quite tough in texture. When I... This is quite annoying about this fruit. It's super hard to get to your, to your delicious fruit. Okay, let's, let's look at this, the seed here. Now I'm pulling it out a bit. So now you can see it quite good. It's so beautiful. Here you can see now how the light shines in from the back and creates this cool effect so you can see all the veins. So I'm going to put it here on the stage. In the backlight, you see more contrast. Veins are all over the place in the fruit. Wow, so I made a big mess here. Everything's full of um, stains already. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments below which fruit you liked best under the microscope. And by the way, which fruit is your favorite fruit? If you're really a microscope nerd, check out my Instagram and TikTok channel if you want daily content. Subscribe to my channel. And while you do that, let me activate the grenade quickly. Guys, fire in the hole! <laughs>